Okay, a quick and dirty question. We've been asked to evaluate and express the following in rational form. Evaluate just means to do the math, and to express the answers in rational form means to leave it with an exponent. Let's not get some crazy long, huge answer. So, we've got a negative exponent on both of these brackets. That's going to be the big problem. What we know about negative exponents is that it causes whatever that negative exponent is touching to reciprocate. So it is touching this big bracket, so it's telling everything inside the bracket to reciprocate or flip. So we have 5 over 1 instead of what it was, and now that's just a positive exponent of 1. I don't have to actually write the 1. Now we've got a negative 2, and we've got a fraction on the inside. Don't be fooled by these negatives here. They don't touch each other. Notice how when I flipped the 5 over 1, I didn't change the sign of it. So whatever I have inside this bracket here is going to stay negative, and I'm just going to reciprocate. So it's going to be 2 over 1. But now this is to the power of 2 still instead of the negative 2 that was there. Well, what do we know about 5 over 1? Well, 5 over 1 is the whole number 5. Awesome. Really, really, really simple. And what do we know about this with, with this fraction right here to this power? What this means is that anything inside the bracket is now to the power of 2. And what's interesting about that is it also affects the negative. I bet you never thought of that. So what we have is we have a negative times a negative. Well, that means positive because the word negative means opposite. So if we already have something that's negative, and we say, no, 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 do the opposite of what you were. That turns into positive. If we have something that's positive, and we say, no, 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 do the opposite of what you were. That means become negative. Now, what we tend to do is we tend to memorize that a negative and a negative makes positive, a positive and a negative makes negative, a negative and a positive makes negative, and a positive and a positive makes positive. There's no point in that memorization if you can understand that a negative sign means to do the opposite. So here we have our originating signs. So the original, the original gangsta, the original cool. And depending on what they see here, they might be told to stay the way they are or to become opposite. Now don't forget that negative means the word opposite. So we've got this guy here, he's already negative, or he's already opposite, or he's already something, and he comes across this new negative. Now, we should mention that this only works for multiplying, and my pen is screwing up here, multiplying and dividing. There we go. It's a little bit faster. So multiplying and dividing is the only thing this works for. All right, well, you're already negative. Do the opposite, become positive. You're positive, do the opposite, become negative. You are negative. The plus sign is nothing. He's neutral. He's, he's just happy-go-lucky. And so he's not telling the negative sign to do anything. He's, he lets you be what you want to be. So the negative sign says, all right, I'm going to stay negative. And then a positive, look at that. I had a big mistake there. A positive is already positive. He's going to stick around and he's going to say, hey man, you be what you want to be. So he's going to remain positive. And there we go. So this negative is being multiplied by itself because of the exponent 2. So we're going to have a positive answer here. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 1 to the power of 2 is 1. So the crazy outcome here is that this is just the number 4. All of that to say that this just becomes a positive 4, and 5 plus 4 is 9. And there's your quick and dirty answer.